My name is Ishul Abdul Halin, and welcome to my video on the introduction to the 68K microprocessor. This video is the first part from a six-part series that aims to give you introductory knowledge about this topic. Hopefully at the end of the series, you would have gained an understanding on what the 68K microprocessor is, how it works and how it is programmed. History of the 68K microprocessor The 68K microprocessor is an integrated circuit device that was invented in 1979 by a company called Motorola. This is a picture of the prototype of the first 68K microprocessor. The integrated circuit is packaged in a dual inline package as seen here. The earliest 68K microprocessor was fabricated using the HMOS process. HMOS technology is based on the NMOS technology, and it allows thousands of N-channel transistors to be fabricated on one silicon die. Thus, making it a suitable technology to be used to fabricate the 68K microprocessor, which has about 68,000 transistors on board. The chip is powered from a 5V DC supply. Its minimum clock speed is 8 MHz and can be boosted up to more than 12 MHz. This was fast for the time, and in fact, these speeds are still relevant for producing real-time circuits today. In 1985, a Japanese electronics device manufacturing company Hitachi, introduced the first CMOS version of the 68K microprocessor. CMOS technology allows the fabrication of N-channel as well as P-channel transistors on a common silicon substrate. This enabled the 68K microprocessor to have extremely low power consumption when compared to its older HMOS version. The 68K microprocessor is a very complex system of integrated circuits fabricated on a chip. Similar to any complex system, it can be broken up to much understandable circuit blocks. The architecture of the 68K microprocessor adopts the von Neumann computer architecture. Let's have a look at the block diagram of our 68K microprocessor one block at a time. The first block you see is called the central processing unit, or CPU for short. It consists of a control block, which are circuits dedicated to synchronize the overall operation of the 68K and other related blocks. An arithmetic logic unit block, or ALU for short and a register block is also part of the CPU of the 68K microprocessor. The ALU handles all arithmetic and logic operations done by the 68K microprocessor. It is designed from circuits such as adders, subtractors, and logic gates, such as the AND, OR, AND, NOT gate, just to mention a few. The register block is made from several register circuits. These registers can basically be subdivided into several address registers, data registers a program counter and a status register, its main purpose is to temporarily hold data, address values, and as an alert to the state of the microprocessor after the microprocessor has finished executing an instruction. We will talk about this in part 2 and part 3 of this video series. All of the CPU blocks are interconnected together through a very systematic collection of wires known as the system bus. A memory chip is often interfaced to the 68K microprocessor. Its main function is to store data. This includes programs, because the definition of data is information. Programs on the other hand, are information on what the micro P should be executing. Thus, programs are also considered as data. Therefore programs are also stored in memory. Anyway, the CPU fetches and executes programs by connecting to memory through three buses, which are the control bus, address bus, and data bus. We will study more on memory in future videos in the series. This picture shows the actual silicon implementation of the 68K MicroP. The die size is approximately 6.24 by 7.15 square millimeters, it is small that you can place it on a coin. Let's take a closer look at this picture and see if we can identify the circuit blocks explained in the previous slide. The control unit is located here, in the top half of the chip. To the right we have the registers and at the lower half of the chip we have the arithmetic logic unit. Can you identify the system bus? Yes, they are the black lines located in the middle of the chip, here. It interconnects the control unit, registers and ALU. The address bus and data bus are tapped out of the CPU's register. Control signals such as asynchronous and synchronous control lines, bus control lines, system control lines and the CPU status lines are tapped out of the control unit. 
In order to write low-level programs, specifically assembly language specific for the 68K microprocessor, we need to have a clear understanding about the registers from a programmer's point of view. This will be covered in parts 2 and 3 of this introduction to the 68K microprocessor series, which you can find in my playlist. That's about it for the brief introduction to the 68K microprocessor. If you stick along to the end of this video series, you would probably be able to program the 68K on your own. If you have questions, please ask them in the comments section and I will try my very best to get back to you. Thank you for your attention and have a nice day.